Okay, Saturday, 17th of June, Reefer Away School Farm 2023. Rapidly approaching the BKKS show. Uh, we had the live stream last night where we talked about doing a big live once a month, full party animal games, the whole works. Uh, and obviously the new podcast is soon to be coming out as well. So there is now actually a link up on the website for the podcast if you do want to be a guest feature on there. <coughs> feel free to click on and join. Uh, you can just be a normal fish buyer, a non-fish buyer, a manufacturer, a distributor, a koi dealer, an importer, or a koi farm. Um, so feel free to reach out on that. Now, the plan of action today, I'm stood with my uh, phone on charge because I fell asleep last night, didn't charge it. But on positive news, I did wake up, actually have a shower, and uh, shaved me head. Shaved me head, so I'm looking nice and shiny today. Look at that, he's like a mirror, man. Uh, anyway, plan of action today. As you can probably tell by the weather, it's a little bit overcast, still warm though. Um, so we are making the most of the overcastness, if that's a thing. And we are fitting the bottom drains into here. So let me spin you around. So you guys know the drill by now. We're using the 110 uh, mil uh, drainage pipe. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick axe a hole in the bottom here. Uh, and then we're gonna send the pipe on a bit of an angle down this way um, and then we're actually going to uh, concrete in where the um, the bags uh, where the bags where the bottom drain and the uh, pipe is going to come out we're then going to put some hardcore in here and then we're going to put an 18 mil board all the way across the top um, the same as what we did in the Koi Academy we've got Ian Andrews here and we've got uh, John Thompson here as well and John Dunn is going to be down a little bit later on today because he wants to uh, look at some shellfish and sort out my starlink which is all the way over there on the roof working a treat um so we're going to do this one this one and this one and then these two uh we may also be able to fit the bottom drain into here and um, we need to try and spin that one as well so i might phone my mate farmer mick because he's going up on his tractor pick that up turn it round and get that one in situ as well um and then we're one step closer to the polytunnel if we do manage to rattle these through because these ones here to be fair shouldn't take all that long uh we've got the post board there off my shoot friendly journey um so we'll we'll bore in the two steels i've got at the back there the two steels at the back there and the two steels at the back and actually get the drainage runs uh, attached up onto the back as well uh that one step closer what we need to do then is fit um, 200 millimetres of 4 by 2 all the way around the tunnel, put the supporting Vs in that we've got on the front over there, on that one, that one and that one, and that one, that one and that one just to help sort of lock it in. So let me snap back to a second once we pick in some of these, so let's go. Oh, ram busy day. The snap back before was at like 9am, it's now 6pm over night time, so uh, absolutely nothing has changed there. <laughs> Um, in regards to how bright it is and how hot it is. Uh, but let me spin you around and actually show you what we've done today because we have conquered a hell of a lot. Let's go. If you will notice, bottom drain is in. Uh, just need to concrete that bit in there. Uh, I've decided to go down the route of two bottom drains in this one. So we'll have a filtration unit at either end. Um, bottom drain sticking out there. So we've got the bottom drain in that one again just need lifting up putting some concrete in so we can push it in nice and level um bottom drain in that one going through the side bottom drain in that one going through the corner bottom drain in that one going there down through the side and we've switched the big vat round that was at the very end um what i'm going to do on this one is i'm going to put some supports across here in the middle and basically build a stud wall 18 mil ply this side, 18 mil ply this side, and actually fiberglass this, because that will actually give me two more quarantine vats. I've got my big one over there <coughs> to put some of my uh, big and this eye fishing and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that'll actually give me two extra vats. So we're gonna take a feed off going down there, and we're gonna take a feed off uh, going down there. So it's a very short run on both of the bottom drains, and we've gone ahead. John's just filling the diesel up now. Uh, we've cut the extra piece in that we need for the drain line to make that fit um, and obviously then we've got to put these in level tomorrow and secure it down but for the time being it's enough to get us through where we needed to do and then we're going to go ahead and fit this tomorrow but stick around on the video because we are doing all this tomorrow um, Pete has very kindly just dropped off a multi-sieve to me uh, so thank you very much Pete if you are watching uh, what I'm going to do with the multi-sieve is I'm going to keep the 4 inch in there but I'm going to leave this here blanked off and then I'm going to put a four inch out on the bottom that side 
and then I'm going to blank this off and put a four inch bottom on now. So this is turned off because we've uh, just given these guys some fluke treatments, the same as this one here. These guys here having some fluke treatments as well. Um, so yeah, jobs uh, jobs of fish on that, but it gives us a lot more open space here. Um, there will be a little bit of a small entrance way down there for me to get through. And what we're also going to be doing is obviously this supporting leg here it doesn't need to be in there once it's all connected in. So we'll take this out. Obviously all this will be concreted in so you can't see that. Um, and then this is where the multi-bay for this filter is going to sit in there. Um, so we'll actually cut this pipe down, uh, bring it on the upstand with the purge valve and take that down here. We're going to have a multi-bay here against there and a multi-bay against there as well so I can still get in here see net all of this off but uh, latest import is doing absolutely fun dabby dozy um, I have got some uh, K1 floating around from when it's come through from the, uh, the overflow bit in there but we'll get that sorted uh, but that's working an absolute treat um, so yeah we'll be fitting the sieve tomorrow um, fitting the rest of the two drain lines in on the top and fitting the two pipe, up sand pipes from there there and there on the end um, I wasn't going to have a door on here but I might have a door on here especially now with it being so open uh, especially on day like today when we'll be able to open the front door open the back door and just literally let the wind pull itself on through um, so yeah that is it for this evening folks um, Snap back to you in the morning. Brought out a bush tail. Let's go. Okay, so it's now Sunday. Um, was hoping to get um, a hell of a lot of footage done today, but it's, it's not actually been possible. Uh, we've had Frank Lecoy over, channel link above Frank Lecoy. Um, what we have done is uh, we have PP'd this pond in here because uh, we had some costia, um, which we treated for flukes three days ago. We had costia after we'd. Uh, killed off the flukes which is typical uh, so we've got PP in there now we've cleaned down uh, this nexus on here and got that one reset um, and again same on this one over here you can see the water's low because we've got PP in there because uh, again treat for flukes and everything costs you uh, so they're all being treated now um, where I blew up the UV bulb on this one because I wanted I didn't actually wire it in wrong I didn't put the rubber seals on properly um, and it actually uh, shorted it out so We've swapped the gubbins inside of that and got that sorted. Um, so obviously it was like pea soup, so we've done quite a big water change on here, which it needed anyway. It was uh, it was due one. Um, so we're just taking that process now because we're going to leave this filling overnight. We are just rinsing off all of the jack matting cartridges inside there because then tomorrow uh, I'm going to be going ahead and fitting the uh, ultra sieve. Uh, that Pete very kindly dropped off to me as well. Uh, we've had a few people over for Father's Day weekend, which is absolutely amazing to see. Uh, some more offers gone. Uh, offers are still live on the website now. Um, so you have um, Father's 20 with no apostrophe, 20% off anything that's currently live on the website as it stands at this moment in time. Um, I've got a hell of a lot of picking and packing to do uh, over the next sort of uh, five days. We're going to be doing some videos on there. And I'm also starting a new mini series called Secrets of a Koi Farmer. I have a hell of a lot of people asking me, how do you keep the stocking notices on these that you do? Um, and keep your water clarity looking like that. Uh, so I figured it'd be pretty good to be able to um, do that. Uh, Albrex in the middle pond here. Um, that's its second day dose now, so we'll 8% uh, water change that down tomorrow just to help speed up that cycle. But I figured we'd end the video on me doing a little bit of feeding so you guys can see some of the koi that are listed up on the website still that are for sale uh, on the discounts. Let me spin you around. So this is a, uh, a very light handful because we do have the auto feeders on. Yeah, you've uh, got all of the clarity on this pond. Running an absolute dream. Um, Jordan, I've already got your stuff picked out and placed in the holding basket. Um, so that'll be shipped out to you tomorrow. Um, so yeah, these guys look amazing. They pop you in a wide angle lens, so you can see an awful lot more of them. Um, like I say, absolutely beautiful. And then we'll give these guys a, a little bit of a feed as well. You can tell on the smaller stuff we're putting more feed in there which is why the water clarity isn't as tip top as this one 
Um, but these filters here are due a clean. We are cleaning the filters twice a day. And this one I'll get a 25% water change done on it tomorrow as well. Uh, but we've literally got fish in here from five quid. Simon Dane, you've just probably seen your show with swimming around there on the top then. Barry Brindley, there's your big haku, mate. She's doing fantastically well. So yeah, doing absolutely awesome. The thunder and lightning is just starting to roll in. Uh, what I'm going to be doing as well uh, is tomorrow swapping off one of the backy showers off here and putting it onto the back pond as well, just to increase the biofiltration on there. But yeah, these guys are all available. ReeferOasisCoolFarm.com um, Fathers 20 for 20% discount coupon. Uh, will automatically be a product checkout for you. Uh, I'm putting that code in. Um, the twins have just been twins as normal um so yeah the giant mortal bait is working um that's coming out on a separate video um which will be done very very shortly so i don't want to give too much of that away uh but yeah me and john are literally just going ahead now finished off all these i'm gonna resituate this in here so it's not all bent um and cruddy but yeah these guys are doing amazingly well but literally as you can see literally pea soup we have an awful lot out today uh, taking some pictures for the website and stuff and then i'm going to chip away at the drain lines uh, in the week because i can actually go ahead and do those on my own i just need to get a 10 mil drill bit so we can repilot in some of the holes um then it's just a matter of getting the jack on and boop, 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 zipping them in nice and tight um frankly coys also dropped me off a lot of um paint for inside the office as well um so my dad's actually over um he leaves on monday so i'm buzzing uh, my dad hasn't been farming. How long's my dad not been here for now? John? How long's my dad not been at the farm for now? It's gotta be what, two months? Yeah. Yeah, so oh, eight, nine weeks. So I was in my dad back over at the farm for a couple of days. Um, so yeah, rocking and rolling with that one. So no doubt my old man will be helping me paint the inside of the office in there uh, and fitting the toilet by and that. But it's just starting to rain now. So we're gonna crack on, finish off these um, filters. Leave the hose running overnight on this one on a nice slow feed in. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll get cracking with uh, actually fitting this ultra sieve and uh, showing you exactly how it works. So uh, looking forward to that one. Uh, so yeah, reeferoasiscoolfarm.com for any of your fish needs. We've got the Yamatsu air pumps on there now because quite a few people have been asking about those. Uh, Fat Raff, I've seen your order as well come through for those. Big love and uh, I do appreciate the support. But other than that, stay safe, stay sane. Most importantly, people say happy. Balding Reefer, out. <laughs>